Hi guys, this is Kushbu and welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. In this video, we will see the question power of 3. Given an integer n, return true if it is a power of 3, otherwise return false. Now we can say that n is a power of 3 if there is an integer x such that n is equal to 3 raised to x. So in the given example 1, we can say that 3 raised to 3 gives us 27 and so it is a power of 3 n equal to 0 cannot be a power of 3, so we return false. 9 is 3 raised to 2, that is 3 square. So it is a power of 3 and 45 is not a power of 3. So let's take two examples. I am taking an example of 27, 10. So when you divide this 27 by 3, you will get 9 and remainder as 0. Since the remainder is 0, that means the number was divisible by 3 and I can go on checking it further. Now when you divide this 9 by 3, it still gives you a remainder of 0. So I can still go further and check whether this number is divisible by 3 or not. Again I go and check 3 by 3 which gives me 1 and a remainder of 0. Now can I go beyond this? The remainder here is 0 and the number here is 1. But I cannot go beyond this dividing it by 3 because this number here has become lesser than 3. So at this particular time what I am going to see is that whether my n has reduced to 1 or not. Let's take a second case wherein I am having a number 10. When I divide 10 by 3 I get 3 and 1 in remainder. Now since this remainder has become 1 that means the number itself was not divisible by 3 and it cannot be a power of 3. So we return false because my remainder is not equal to 0. So that's the logic what we are going to write. So we'll be reducing the number while it is greater than or equal to 3. And in this we'll check whether the remainder is 0 or not. If it is not 0, I can simply return false. So I'll do n mod 3 and check if that is not equal to 0 simply return false. Otherwise go on reducing this number. So n becomes n by 3. And finally I return whether this number that I have got after reducing is 1 or not. So I check whether n is equal to 1 or not and return that value. So that's it. Let's run all the test cases and it works perfectly fine. Let's submit it and it got submitted. So the time complexity over here is O of log n to the base 3. Why base 3? Because we are finding a power of 3. So we are dividing our space by 3 in each iteration. And so that gives you log to the base 3 of the number n. The space complexity over here is O of 1 as we are not using any extra space. So that's it for today guys. I hope you like the video and I'll see you in another one. So till then, keep learning, keep coding.